Welcome to T-Way Radio Shop, I'm Neve, and in today's video I'm going to be tackling some of the most commonly asked questions we get regarding T-Way Radio licensing. So if you are new to T-Way Radios or just want to stay informed and compliant with the rules in the UK, then this video is definitely for you. Um, I'm going to be answering the top five questions that we get asked by our customers um, regarding licensing. So sit back, relax and let's dive in. Question number one, what does license free mean? Um, so in the UK, there is um, a dedicated frequency range, which is UHF 446 to 446.1 megahertz. Um, this frequency band contains 16 license exempt channels, which has been dedicated by Ofcom. Um, license free devices typically only have a power output of 0.5 watts whereas a licensed device will have a power output of around 4 watts. This um, lower power output means that you get less range from the device. Um, licensed devices as well typically come pre-programmed to the license exam channels, so you can use them straight out of the box. Question number two, if I have a licensed device, does each device need its own license? So I think this question means like if I personally had five radios, would I then need five radio licenses like one per device? Um, the answer to that is no. Um, when you buy a license from Ofcom, you are basically buying a range of frequencies that you are allowed to use. So as long as um, I've got the valid license, I can have as many radios as I would like programmed to that license. Question number three, does each radio operator need their own license? Um, if all the radio operators want to communicate with each other, then no, only one of them will need to get a license and then they can give permission to all the other radio um, users so that they can all communicate together on it. Um, for example, if I was a business, I could buy a license and then give permission to everyone who works for me to use that license to communicate on. Um, but if it was like two completely separate radio operators, then yeah, they would need to get the one license. Number four, how do I get a radio license in the UK? Um, so you can apply for a radio license with Ofcom. Ofcom in the UK is the regulator of uh, communi communication services. Um, they ensure that the radio spectrum is being used um, optimally and in the most effective way. When you apply for a licence with Ofcom, they will um, give you a frequency range to use um, in your area that will have the most reliable and stable connection. If you buy your devices through us at 2A Radio Shop, we can apply for the licence for you um, and then we can do a, man a licence management service for you on your behalf. Um, if not, you can go online to Ofcom and you should be able to find the information on there to apply yourself. Question number five, how much is a licence? Um, so there's a lot of different radio licences, so it does depend on how we are, you are planning on using your radios. Um, a basic licence in the UK is a simple site licence. Um, and you can also get a simple UK license, so simple site licenses to one location and you can use a simple UK one all around the UK. So that one's more ideal for people who work in events or something and aren't always stuck at one location. If you need a larger, I mean if you have a larger site um, where you might need some infrastructure like a repeater or something like that to boost your um, connection, um, then you will need a more elaborate license, which is a little bit more expensive. Um, the basic licenses start from £75 and they last for five years. And then at the end of the five years, you do need to renew them. Um, operating a licensed device in the UK without a valid license is illegal. Um, and you can get a fine from that from Ofcom if you are caught doing that. Um, if you would like any help, obviously trying to decide what the best license for you is or what license you may need for your communication needs, then we can also help you um, 
find one or choose the best license for you we can also help you apply for it like i've said so previously. that is all of the um answers that i have for you today thank you for watching today's video and i hope that you found it informative and hopefully know a little bit more about two-way radio licensing um, I do just want to leave you with a reminder today that um, having a licence not only ensures that you are um, being compliant with Ofcom regulations in the UK, but it does also enable you to use more powerful devices with a larger communication range. Um, it also ensures that you have a more secure line of communication and you'll have little to um, no interference. If you have any further questions on anything I've mentioned in today's video or you just have other questions on licensing on general, please leave them in the comments down below and um, we'll see you in the next video.